have buddies and we like to play games in the new bed buddies. Hello, welcome back. Welcome See back to Pussed Puss Buddies. Puss Buddies. Um, Pussed. I'm qu- I'm really glad for that that checkpoint there. I think I would have cried if yeah, uh, right. <laughs> I'm going all the way back. Jesus. Fucking hell. Oh um, yeah, so we were talking about. Well, we were going to talk about Puss in Boots last week. But we got to the we end of the episode, so um, spoil. Maybe I'm not going to spoil anything because Pete's not seen it. But oh, if yeah. you want to go into it completely <laughs> blind, then maybe don't click on an episode that's titled something like Puss in Boots. I don't know. Um, <laughs> But basically, it's set it's set after um, after Shrek, and it's um, there's already a Puss in Boots a Puss in Boots film, isn't there? There is. It's a, a prequel, though. It's a prequel to Shrek. I haven't, but oh. we were talking about watching it. I think I might watch it. It's got like fine reviews. It's like three out of five stars on yeah Letterboxd. And is this the um, second Puss in Boots film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, um, what is going on? What What are they doing? Oh, hot fuzz. It is, yeah. <laughs> the creature of God. The creature of God. Um, okay. Uh-huh. Maybe. What do you reckon? Do you have your, do you have your rocket should I, launcher? Yeah, sh- <laughs> I was going to say, should I take him out? Um, do, you, do you have it? I have. I don't have a rocket launcher. I do have a grenade. Uh. I could... I could quite oh, easily do that. just drop a little grenade grenade down there. Just see, see uh, just see what happens. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, they, they saw me. Fuck. Ah, no, no, come back. Come back. Ah, that shit. may be the most unsatisfying <laughs> oh, moment in Bear Buddy's history. Oh, <laughs> that was incredible. Quite possibly about to get like a quad kill. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were literally oh like my God. oh praise be to the lord hang on he's up there <laughs> he's, he's there he is <laughs> fuck me you like drop you like drop the pin and they're like oh, who's God. that he's on the roof <laughs> oh shit he's got right, a bloody okay. grenade let's get let's get the uh, whatever it was he dropped hopefully it was worth it oh the Illuminatus pendant yeah I'm sure that that Wow, Hopefully you got the main guy though at least I did I did I got him good That's I got you good uh, is there a merchant around here Does, like do you know if anything happens if you kill all those guys in one go here I think you just get lots of stuff <laughs> just just the same set yeah fair. Just, yeah 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 yeah. I, th- I think it's um, it's just a good outcome for you I'm not sure why well, there we go. if I could always climb up here unless this door was locked maybe that's what it was I feel like I shouldn't be able to get up here but who knows because we, we were down there before like that was where uh, I think I think yeah am I just am I confused no 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 that is the room that we were in before yeah definitely 100 oh, there we go um, sorry you were talking about Puss in Boots before I really interrupted oh yeah yeah, yeah. so um, it's like a, it's set after Shrek um, it's uh, Puss in Boots is uh, is it starts with like with Puss in Boots dying essentially. Oh wow! Um, okay. This I think this this is all in in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But basically, um, but it starts okay. with Puss in Boots dying, and then he wakes up in the doctor's office, and he's down to his last life. He's used all eight lives, and he's on his ninth. Um, okay. So, but he's been oh, really like cool. reckless yeah, with yeah. with the first eight. Um, so now he is like he did literally has he can't die. Oh wow! Anymore, otherwise he is just dead for good. Um, and it's about him coming to terms with like mortality, basically. Holy um, crap! That sounds but awesome. It's, it's really fun. It's like a it's basically a western. A fairy yeah. tale western. Um, nice. and it's got like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, um, <laughs> played by like Olivia Coleman, Ray Winston, Florence Pugh's Goldilocks, um, and like Jack Horner. Do you know you know that old nurse, uh, nursery rhyme? 
Um, Jack. It was like a real curveball, but it was a really cool, um, really cool character. Jack Horn. I'll try and find the the thing. Was it? it, So is it? Mm. It's an actual nursery rhyme, but yeah, I. Jack um, it's about him eating pies. Horny Jack. Um, Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in a thumb oh. and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. <laughs> what yeah. a great song, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Fab, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How wonderful. Um, sticking, sticking his thumbs I, I do in reckon, pies. Yeah, yeah, in pies. Yeah, many pies. Um... I I reckon I do recognise that, um, but it's probably been about twenty billion years since I have heard. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Hmm, um, what are we gonna? What but are we gonna no, it's today? it's fab and it looks gorgeous as well. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I I, th- I think that's that's definitely what I've I've seen online. Like, is lots of animators saying like, "Go see this bell." Yeah, awesome. yeah. The the only um, thing I have with the animation, and maybe I just like uh, missed something, yeah, but yeah, it, it's they they do that thing where that they did in like um, Into the Spider Verse, right? Where they they have like yes. a lower frame rate for some moments, yes. yeah, 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 which is fab because it makes like the action and like specific mm. positions and poses like stand out, yeah, yeah. Um, what are you but. And I, I, I like think it looks gorgeous. I really, really enjoyed it. But I think the only thing for me is in Into the Spider Verse. There's what are you there's saying? a reason for it within the story. Like it's a, oh, it, sure. the animation yeah, yeah. style yeah. is a choice yes. to help influence the story. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I maybe I'm missing something. I just something went over my head, but I felt like it was just. A choice to make it look good, yeah, which is like, which is great, but Mm -hmm. I think they could have easily like used a framing device to like set it in a fairy tale book, so you know, so that it's like they're telling the story of something that happened because then you you can kind of, I don't know, then I think I would, then I I think it puts that animation into context of it being like. Right, almost like okay. pictures in a book or like m- moments that are being remembered yeah sure because um, it's, so, not it's not the whole way throughout it's just in sort of like running and action yes. sequences and stuff yeah yeah so fun fun fact um, yeah in uh, 2D animation uh, yeah. that is very standard <laughs> practice you. to to yeah. only animate like um, uh, to, to not animate like 24 frames a second but to just I don't know, if, if you're doing a faster motion, you, you have more frames. If you're doing a slower action, you have fewer frames. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, that's only you every day. Um, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you uh, I think my sort of like thing with it was maybe just because they played across the Spider-Verse trailer beforehand. And also, right. I think because gotcha. it because it yeah, yeah. exists in a world that we are, like people already know visually. Yes, um, I think they they've done something really like great with the like the way it looks. Like if you see stills from it, mm. it looks a bit like a painting almost. Um, but it still looks like it's from the same franchise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Whereas to me, it felt just a little bit like maybe they went, oh, Into the Spider Verse does that well, and then and use that. But oh, that, that was sure, my yeah. only yeah. my only thing with it. But I, I yeah. like I didn't disrupt my experience at all. Mm. I thought it was a fab film. I, it's I just like in the back of my brain. Yeah, that that's like um, more telling about the what are you selling? The lack of creativity in sort of how three D animation is uh rendered yeah. i guess or, or or sort of the the the, the visual style of, of 3d animation in that like i guess when uh, sort of early 3d stuff tended to go more for um i get i guess it, it was less sort of cartoony stuff it was it was slightly more on the realistic edge so i mean yeah. la- laughably now like you look at toy story it's the, the realism that's hilarious but like you yeah, look yeah. at shrek and that was exactly the aesthetic that they were going for it was like hyper realism yeah. kind of like um uh 
it's a donkey that talks, but it's like it, it's rendered like a, a life, a live donkey. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think now, there, there was. So- Sorry, no, 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 you no. get you carry. No, no, no. no I, was, I was just going to say now. Now we're we're, we're getting sort of, uh, particularly I guess um, studios like Sony um, are experimenting more in the yeah the rendering style and and the um, uh, yeah how how those are, are, are told visually um, outside yeah. of the. The norms of the last sort of 20, yeah, yeah. 30 years or so. Um, so yeah. yeah. Which is exciting. It's, it's a good time to, to be a fan of animation, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, For sure. Let's... Um, sorry. Yeah, no, I, th- I think it's, I think it's, I think it was, it's great. Like, obviously, the Into the Spider Verse did incredibly well. Yeah. Um, and rightfully so. It's such a great film. Yeah, Spider Wars is brilliant. Um, it's um, yeah, fantastic film. Um, I think I, I, I think I'm looking forward to the second one. Mm. Feel a little bit with Puss in Boots, like, or not with the film, but with um, DreamWorks. I maybe like, what? Why? Why this animation style? Like, I'm sure you could find mm. something slightly more distinct. Oh sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, well, uh, yeah, okay. So, I mean, would would you have said that for like the last? I don't know. Um, like, like the 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 uh, like like Disney stuff for the last sort of twenty years or something. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's an interesting one. Yeah. Uh, um, well, I, I, interestingly enough, as well, I have a slight gripe with Disney films now being like kind of like 3D animation I think they look mm. I think they look so much better oh sure yeah like Princess and the Frog yeah looks yeah. so good I thought yeah no absolutely I, I, I would much rather that um, there was a better balance between the amount of uh, 2D and 3D animated yeah. um, content um, and for some and for content, some films, I think it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for some films, I think it works really well. Like I think mm. Wreck It Ralph, um, Wreck It Ralph, Frozen, and like Zootropolis, Big Hero Six. I think 3D mm. worked really well for those films. But there were so many films. Like I don't know, like Moana. I think would yeah. look great in. 2D yeah. and I th- yeah. to be fair I think Frozen probably would have as well no um, absolutely um, for, I think Frozen's an interesting like environment to mm. explore in 3D and I guess you could argue that with Moana but well I, know, I, I, just... I think there's like the uh, lo- lots of people including myself have like such a love for, for the, the those sort of 2D productions of the 90s um, and yeah. it is a real shame that we don't have more of that I mean we, th- there is a lot of um 2D stuff um, uh, being made now, which which is good, yes. but it's yeah. certainly less in the in the mainstream. It's not like you have a lot of yeah, a lot of productions by Disney, uh, who, who are arguably one of the one of the bigger um, animation pro- producers in in the world. Um, yeah, arguably, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, what, yeah. What, would you like to uh, to read this note, sir? Yeah, Cast- for sure. Castellan memo. Do my best Spanish. <clears throat> <laughs> for many years, the Salazar family had served as the Castellans of this castle. However, oh. not everything is bright. For my interest, for my ancestry has a dark past. Oh. <clears throat> Long ago, (laughs) there was once a religious group that had deep roots in this region called Los Illuminados. Unjustly, however, the first Castellan of the castle took away their rights and powers. Oh, disappointment. As a follower of this religion, and as the eighth Castellan, I felt that it was my duty as well as my responsibility to atone for that sin. I knew the best way to atone for the sin was to give power back to those who once took it away from the Los Illuminados. As expected, it took a little time, but we are able to rejuvenate the one sealed... 
La Plagas. With oh. this success, I was one step closer to the revival of the Los Illuminados. Oh. The reason why I released the La Plagas from deep under this castle and gave them to Lord Sadler was not only to repay for the sins for my ancestors, but I felt certain that the Lord would make better use of this power to help save the world. Oh. To save those that have sinned with the power of the La Plagas and to cleanse their souls, creating a world without sinners, the way it was meant to be. Once cleansed, they would become one of the many Ganados where they will find their reason to live. And after the Lord has succeeded in creating the world in which he has envisioned, then the sins of my Salazar family will be atoned for. Brilliant. Wow, wasn't that an exciting piece of resi history? Yeah, um, less snail facts <laughs> in that one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less, less stuff about snails. Anyway, um, on that note, <laughs> ending with another exciting note uh, yeah. on Bear Buddies. Why don't you guys join us next time, and uh, we'll be playing. Well, we'll be seeing what's through that door. Can't, can't guess what it is. Can Ooh. you guess, Tom? Have to tune in next uh, time. Prince Andrew. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Boots in purse. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> well, there we go. Are you excited? You waited for that?